killer. Okay, well, we're back with another Borto episode 27 review. This was supposed to come out uh, yesterday, but I uh, had a couple of friends over because for some reason my friends aren't going to school tomorrow, or rather today when you're watching this, and Monday. Uh, I still don't really understand why, but and they, they all got to come over yesterday, so I had to uh, kind of hang out with them, played a little bit of Naruto Storm 4, uh, stuff like that. It was actually a lot of fun, but anyways... Back to episode 27, <clears throat> a couple days ago I uploaded episode 26, the day episode 27 came out unironically. Again, I apologize. So and the reason why I'm stalling with the review for this episode is because not a whole lot happened. I'm just going to be honest, it was a follow up to, excuse me, it was a follow up to everything that had happened in the last episode in the ending, where basically Denki, Denki gets captured by a whole bunch of group of kids who want the village to go back to being the blood mist or whatever. So the beginning of the episode starts off uh, with uh, them and then Boruto's like little group of friends fighting each other and before I actually get more into later on in the episode we actually finally got a new opening which uh, isn't terrible. It's not like super, super spectacular or anything but it's the fact that you know we have a new intro finally after literally 26 episodes and then on episode 27 we finally got a new one and <clears throat> i was hoping that it was basically insinuating that we're gonna we're gonna get into the next arc by the end of this episode at least but no from what i can tell from watching the intro uh i guess we're gonna be in in the mist village for a little while because uh kagura who was uh, also confirmed to be the grandson of the fourth Mizukage, uh, uh, Yagura. <clears throat> he was actually in the episode for like a, a brief moment. He wasn't in the intro for that long, but he was in there and he was uh, wielding Chojuro's uh, sword, by the way, which should be interesting later on. But anyways, he was there, which is to me and probably most of you watching it insinuates that we're going to be in the mist village for a little bit which isn't entirely a bad thing if you know it wasn't kind of boring to just sit down and fucking watch because the fight scene although like it was like okay it wasn't great either and it was probably the only time where drops in animation really kind of you know drops you know where it where it happened you know other than that, it was fine. Uh, it, we explored into into Kagura's character. He said that he struggles wielding a sword, and it's, I actually kind of like the idea of that because it's like he's supposed to be next in line to become one of the seven ninja swordsmen of the mist, and yet he has to, you know, fight with the struggle of not being able to wield a sword properly. And it stimulates from the fact that when he was back in the academy. Whatever for whatever reason, when he wielded the sword was, and was training with students from the academy, something kind of surged within him. The, the blood of his grandfather, the the Mizukage who had ran the Blood Mist Village, was coursing through his veins, which caused him to kind of get I don't know fucking blood hungry, I guess. And pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. And that's why he kind of struggles with that and that was the reason why we also kind of saw him like freak out when he when he was on sparring with Boruto I think in the last episode I don't honestly remember uh the the big most important thing of the episode though which kind of drives in a plot point which I hope it gets explored a little bit better into uh rather than not but knowing this series it probably isn't but but we get a little bit of explanation. I apologize for that. We get a little bit of <clears throat> exploration of a treaty between all of the lands. So the lands of fire, water, uh, you know, stuff like that. Just all, all the great nations are planning to sign a treaty. But for some reason, the land of water wants to expand so that way they can, you know, get because they're being greedy and they want to expand out for more land and shit and you know if they don't get that then they're gonna go to war so this whole scene right here is just politics politics 
and everybody basically wondering why they put Anko, <laughs> Anko, and May in the same fucking room. They put Anko and May in the same fucking room, and it's like, I, I was pretty indifferent about Anko and May, but then it's like, I go back and look at their characters before, and it's like, why did they do this? Like, it, it pretty, it, I wonder if the writers are pretty much self-aware that everybody generally hates the new designs for Anko and May, the fact that May has old saggy grandma titties and fucking Anko is, for whatever reason, super fat. I don't know. So we get this entire scene with uh, Boruto and his group of friends in Kagura. They're playing, I guess, the Naruto versus version of fucking Uno. It's kind of weird. Like I said, like I said later on or earlier on, there was more exploration of his character. He went off and explained yada yada yada. That was basically like the whole, like five six minutes of that one of that one part of the episode. That was pretty much the entire rest of the episode, up until the part where he is uh, talking to Chojuro, the, the current Mizukage. And is telling them that he wants to take like this exam, <clears throat> exam or whatever for possibly to become the Seven Ninja Swordsman. So, one of the Seven Ninja Swordsmen, rather. So, but there was an, uh, an ending to this episode, of course, and I was genuinely surprised because uh, the the dude, the Hoshigaki, the grandson of. Kisame. I'm just gonna call him Kisame Jr. because I forgot his name already. I literally learned what his fucking name is like five minutes ago and now I already forgot. But we're just gonna call him Kisame Jr. But <clears throat> anyways, he holds up a sword to like the main guy that was uh, that was in the episode earlier on during the fight scene. He, hold, he holds a sword to his fucking neck and just, just guts him out. He fucking straight up kills him. And I... I... <laughs> I, I, I really I really wasn't expecting that because it's like no one was dying or anything in the episode and all of a sudden you see that I think you're just like oh my god why <laughs> I, I I don't I don't know I don't know was, yeah I, yeah I'm just, I'm just dumbfounded I guess anyways I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here because really nothing else happened there's really nothing else to talk about for whatever reason if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like on the video uh i'm gonna work on a different video that i have been wanting to work on but have just been super lazy about but anyways like i said if you guys enjoyed the, the video for whatever reason drop a like if you're brand new to the channel consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this i hope you guys are having a fantastic day and i'll see you guys in the next video